Today we're gonna to show you the first 14 things to do when you get iOS 14, including how to set up these widgets on your home screen so that you can completely customize your phone. We'll show you all this and more on this video on the four, first 14 things to do on iOS 14. Let's get started. On iOS 14, you can now customize your home screen to add custom widgets. Check this out. As you can see here, we have the weather widget and we have a variety of different widgets like our calendar, top news stories, and even a photo album as well just by swiping through this widget stack. Now we're gonna show you how to add and change the stack in just a second, but you might be wondering, how do you even get these widgets on your home screen in the first place? So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna press and hold anywhere on the home screen that's not on an app itself, press and hold, and as you can see, all of the buttons start to jiggle, all the, all the icons that is. And what you can do is you can go up here to the top left and you see how you have this new plus icon. You're gonna click that plus icon, and as you can see here, there's all of these different widgets that you can use. Now, we've already selected the weather widget, but let's just say we don't have it. We're just gonna remove it for a second here. So we'll show you exactly how this works. You're gonna go press and hold, and then you're gonna click the plus button, and you can see right there we have the smart stack, and this includes the weather widget built right in. So as you can see, the smart stack has a variety of different widgets. Now, you can choose if you want a small smart stack, or if you want a kind of medium size banner style smart stack, or you can even have a full featured smart stack that actually takes up a wide array of your home screen. Now I opted for the medium and middle size option. I'm clicking add widget here and it adds it right up at the top. Now as you can see, it moves all the rest of your apps over and onto the next page. And because this is the smart stack, you can see here that you're actually able to scroll through a wide array of different widgets right here on your home screen. Now let's say you wanted to change the, uh, the different widgets that you have right here in that smart stack. All you have to do is press and hold on the smart stack itself and you can see you can edit weather which is you know the specific uh, actual um, widget in the stack which is the weather app but you can also edit the whole stack so if you click edit stack you can see here that you can add different features to the smart stack and you can see that we have Siri weather calendar news and you can actually rotate where you want each of these to be so if you want photos to come before news you can rotate it just like that now, Smart Rotate also allows you to automatically determine what you're most likely to see. So let's say you check the weather every morning, it's gonna automatically have the weather be the first thing that you see in the Smart Stack. But then later on in the day, let's say you typically go ahead and check your calendar. If that's the case, it will automatically adjust and your iPhone will know and it'll actually show you the calendar as the first thing you see when you look at your smart stack in the morning. Now, of course, you can always just scroll through these just by swiping up and down to look at the different widgets in your smart stack. Now, you can also add additional widgets to your iPhone as well. You can see here that I've added the clock widget. All you have to do is press and hold on the home screen again and click the little plus icon up at the top. And then you can actually search all of your different apps for different widgets. So you can see we have the fitness, we have the clock, notes, and more. So you can see here that we have a wide variety of different widgets that are come available to us. Let's just say we wanted to add in another clock widget. So we click on clock, and you can see that we can actually swipe between a full clock face that we already have on our phone, a world clock, or even a world clock that's kind of in this, uh, this long horizontal view. So let's just say we want this additional world clock, just click add widget, and you can see that it just adds the widget right there onto your home screen. Now, if you wanna move these around at any time, let's say you wanna move these down here, you would just move these around like you would a regular application, just like so. As you can see, we can switch where we want each widget to be. And let's say we wanna remove a widget, all you have to do is just click the remove icon, just like so. So as you can see, we can move these widgets around, and this is one of the absolute best features that they have in iOS 14. You're gonna to wanna to do a lot of experimenting with this. Now, let's say that you wanna specifically you know, change some of these widgets that you have. You can press and hold on a specific widget, and you can see here you can edit weather. So maybe you wanna change the location. I have my location right there, but you can change that and tap on that. Same thing with the clock, if you press and hold, you can click edit widget and you can actually change the city. Now with the different widgets that you have and obviously all the different apps that you have might have different widgets, you can actually choose and customize those widgets on your home screen just like so. This is absolutely one of the best features in iOS 14. You're really gonna wanna experiment with this. Of course, you have the smart stack up here, which I recommend adding right to the top of your home screen. You can of course select this and you can edit the stack itself. 
And what you can do, of course, is add additional widgets. There's a wide array of additional widgets for all kinds of different applications that you may happen to use on your iPhone. So I recommend experimenting, taking a look at them, and looking at the wide array of different widgets that are available to you. So hopefully you found this valuable. And also, let me know in the comments below what your favorite widgets are. I'm constantly looking for new widgets to explore and use, and some of our other AppFind viewers might be interested in that as well. So be sure to let us know down in the comments what your favorite widget is so we can learn from you as well. So it's not just your home screen that allows you to add widgets in iOS 14. If you scroll over, you can also add widgets to your search page as well. Now, obviously, I've actually added a couple in here already. I had the news in there, and I also added my battery widget, because I don't really want to have that on my home screen, but this is perfect for my search screen over here. So what I can do is I can press and hold, and I can add in new widgets just by, again, pressing the plus icon at the top, and as you can see, I can search here. So let's say I wanted to add in one of the clock widgets, just like so. I could choose a big one, or let's say I wanted to include the world clock. I can add that right here and it slots right in perfectly into my uh, screen over here as well. Now let's say I wanted to add another widget, I can click plus. Let's say I wanted to find a weather widget. And instead of having the small one or the medium sized widget, I want the largest one possible. So let's go ahead and add that in. And so now whenever I scroll over, I can actually see a complete view of the weather. Now let's say I wanted to move that up. I could just swipe to move that up here and I can just Go over these other ones, just like so. And you can also stack a couple widgets on top of each other. So I actually just did that by accident. You can see that I added um, these two, the, the you know, uh, screen time widget along with the, uh, with the weather widget as well. Um, but I can move that around, and as you can see, it was just a little bit difficult to get it over this uh, news one because it's a pretty big widget there. But as you can see now, if I scroll over from my home screen, you can see that I have access to my calendar, my battery, and then also a full view of the weather. So I can have a small view of the weather over here, and then a full view when I swipe over. I've got a, a list of the news, and then I've, I can, of course, also swipe through this smart stack to also see my screen time. So that's another thing you can do as well. If you want to drag one widget on top of another, and that's something we're actually going to show you, you can actually create a smart stack so you can scroll through them. That's also similar to the smart stack that we showed you how to build on your home screen. So you can do that by dragging widgets right on top of each other to create that smart stack. Now, I recommend adding in a variety of these different widgets over here and really customizing it to make it your own. Not just on the home screen, on your different screens, but also over here as well so you can get a better, more expanded view. One other thing you're going to want to explore on your iPhone running iOS 14 is, of course, the app library. If you scroll all the way over on your iPhone, all the way to the right, you can see that we have your app library up here. Now, it'll have suggestions based on apps you visit frequently, but then you can also see recently added apps and different apps that are organized by category like productivity, social, utilities, entertainment, shopping, information, and more. And it's actually going to create an entire list of the apps that you use most frequently, and it's going to build that all here into your library. Now, of course, you can search the library at any time just by searching at the top, but you can see that it's created all of these different views. And then what you can do is you can go into any of these views, let's say utilities, for instance, and you can take a look at the specific apps that are included inside just like so. So as you can see down here, we can look at all the different apps that are grouped into each of these smart categories. This next hidden feature is a little more serious, and it's not necessarily specific to iOS 14, but I always want to include this because it has the potential to save you from a negative situation. And the way that I see it is even if this just helps one person, then that's worth it. And it's enabling emergency SOS. I encourage all of you to enable this on your phone. So if you go into emergency SOS, what this allows you to do is add call with side button and auto call for emergency services if you get into a negative situation. Now you may already know that if you press and hold on the power and volume up button at the same time, you'll have the ability to power off, get a medical ID, and even access emergency SOS. By swiping that, you'll get access to emergency SOS. Let me just cancel that and type in my passcode. But what you may not know is you can also turn on, if you go into emergency SOS in the settings, call with side button. When you enable that, all you have to do is rapidly press the side button five times in order to automatically call emergency services. Make sure you also turn auto call on as well so it will automatically call emergency services and notify your emergency contacts that you might be in trouble. Now, hopefully this is something you never have to use. 
but I wanted to show you this because it's better to install this now and turn this on now so that you have it just in case. So that's Emergency SOS, which is a feature that's a little bit hidden. It's not necessarily unique to iOS 14, but it's something I wanna show you because even if this just helps one person, then it's worth including it in this video. I hope you guys are enjoying this video on the first things to do with iOS 14. We have a lot more things to do in just a second in this video here, but I wanted to also show you an incredible application that you can use to earn instant cash back and rewards using only your iPhone. Let's take a look. So now I'm gonna show you how you can get this incredible app in order to earn cash and rewards just for completing simple surveys on your iPhone. So open up your mobile Safari browser and go to this exact URL. It's bit.ly, B-I-T dot L-Y slash get quick thoughts, just like this. B-I-T dot L-Y slash G-E-T Q-U-I-C-K T-H-O-U-G-H-T-S. And the link is also down there in the description as well. And then click go. Be sure to go to this link. It helps to support our show, but it will also make sure that you get the best surveys and rewards right here on Quick Thoughts when you download it and be able to get those additional bonus missions right there at the beginning or bonus surveys uh, to be able to sign up. So go into Quick Thoughts and then click open. And then as you can see, you're able to get the Quick Thoughts app. This app allows you to complete surveys, earn rewards, earn cash, gift cards. You're gonna go ahead and click sign up at the bottom left. And then as you can see, they love opinions. Click register and then click agree to the terms and conditions. And as you can see here, Quick Thoughts has already given out over $21 million to members. That's absolutely incredible. You can earn cash rewards just for using this app. So click begin earning rewards, fill out a couple of details of your information just so they know a little bit more about you so that they can serve you the best surveys. And that's what you're gonna be able to use right here in Quick Thoughts. Uh, and as you can see, you're gonna be able to click begin earning rewards and get your piece of over $21 million that they've given out. Now, if we go back to the App Store, you can see a little bit of what that looks like. As you can see, you can earn rewards just by taking really simple surveys. And a very simple survey could earn you a few dollars each. And they also have different missions, surveys that you can do. There's all kinds of surveys in the Quick Thoughts app and you can cash out right away once you've gone through and completed the survey. So I highly recommend going to bit.ly slash get quick thoughts. They're our sponsor for this episode, but it's also a great win-win because you're going to learn how to earn amazing cash and rewards just for completing simple surveys right here on your iPhone. Enjoy. In iOS 14, you can now reply directly to messages in your iMessage app. All you have to do is press and hold on the message, and in addition to the reactions that you're used to getting, you can also click reply. And then what that will do is it'll allow you to reply directly to that message, and so people can see inline responses. So you could say something like, that's great, and then what it'll do is it'll actually have this be a reply to that original message iOS 14 now adds the brand new Translate app, which allows you to more easily translate conversations and texts instantly into other languages. So you probably already know about this. I'll just give you a quick demo right here. You can now automatically translate with the new Translate app. Just like so. And you can see that it'll automatically translate that into the language of your choice. You can also save specific replies as favorites as well. So let's say you figure out how to say, you know, where is the bathroom or you have a certain allergy or dietary restriction. That's convenient as well. And then what you can also do is play this back as well. Vous pouvez désormais traduire automatiquement avec la nouvelle application de traduction. Now, what you may not know is if you actually go into, uh, if you go into landscape mode, you can actually take a look at the text a little bit larger just by going into landscape and then clicking the full view, just like that. That way you can get a very easy view that you can show the person you're trying to communicate with. Obviously, you can, of course, use the, uh, the voice translation as well, but this is gonna allow you to have something that's more visual so you can easily show people when you're looking to translate. Again, all you have to do is just rotate your phone like so, and it'll automatically show up. Now, sometimes it might appear like this. You just have to click the expand icon to automatically have that translation in an expanded view. 
If you're watching your favorite Apple TV show or show on your iPhone, what you can now do is use this icon right up here at the top to actually just minimize the show so it's in the bottom of your screen. So for instance, let's say you're watching a show like Mythic Quest, which by the way is a great show on Apple TV. You can take this widget and put it down here and actually play the show in the background while you're doing whatever else you want to do. So let's say you're browsing or you're, you know, you happen to be online, whatever it happens to be. Maybe you're using a productivity app, but you want to have that show running in the background. You can do that right here with this very simple pop out widget for your favorite TV show uh, that's playing either on Apple TV or one of your favorite streaming applications. Do you ever just want to draw that perfect shape? but you can't seem to get it. Now a hidden feature right here in iOS 14, this is kind of a fun one, um, is that you're actually able to draw the perfect shape now. All you have to do is, let's say you're drawing a shape, you know, normally you just draw a circle, it might not turn out that great, but what you can do now is if you draw that circle and then you pause at the end of it and just hold for a second, you can see that it turns automatically into the perfect circle. Now you can do the exact same thing with a star and a variety of other shapes as well. You just need to pause at the end of your drawing and it'll automatically draw that perfect shape. This is a fun one, but a little hidden feature I wanted to add in here as well. I want to invite you to sign up for AppFind VIP, where we're sending the best mobile apps and games directly to your email inbox. All you have to do is go to appfindvip.com, it's right here on the screen and in the description. And what we're doing is we're consistently sending the best mobile apps and games directly to your email and you'll automatically be entered to win iTunes gift cards, Google Play gift cards, and all of our giveaways that we have exclusively for AppFind VIP subscribers. Now, this is completely free and we're sending out the best mobile apps and games. Let's say you only want to receive the best apps. You don't have to choose the games feature or if you just want to receive the best games, you can choose what subscription works best for you. But of course, it's completely free. So just put in your name, email address, and of course, choose the emails you want to receive. And of course, I recommend receiving the giveaways because we're constantly giving out, out iTunes gift cards, Amazon gift cards, Google Play gift cards, uh, just for being an email newsletter subscriber. So you can automatically enter to win those giveaways. So go to appfindvip.com. We'll send the best mobile apps and games directly to your email inbox. That way you never miss an incredible new mobile app or mobile game and you're automatically entered to win our gift card giveaways. Go to appfindvip.com and I'm looking forward to seeing you there. Let's say you wanted to watch a video in 4K because you want to get all of those vivid colors right here on your iPhone. Let's say you're watching a video on YouTube. I'm just using one as, as an example. It looks like a pretty cool video here on Costa Rica. All you have to do is tap the icon at the top, right, the more settings, go to quality, and then you can see here that you now have the ability to display videos in complete 4K. So just choose the 4K option, and then when you're playing that video, you can automatically now play it in 4K, so you can watch it in the best resolution possible. Now when you're in the camera application, and let's say you're not in video mode, but you wanna quickly take a video, let's say you're taking some pictures, and you wanna take a video, all you have to do is press and hold the volume up button and you automatically switch to video mode so you can quickly start capturing a video and then once you release, it stops that video. That's a way to quickly capture a video even when you're in camera mode without having to swipe over to video and then start the video. When you're in the camera app, just simply press and hold on the volume up button and it'll start taking a video automatically. Now in the settings, you can actually change this to have it be a burst series of photos. So you take a variety of photos all at once. You can update that in the settings application as well if you'd prefer. But I like having this enabled so I can quickly take a video when I need to. So now I'm gonna show you this incredible app that you can use to earn cash back and rewards whenever you're shopping online. And we're gonna give you our special link that you can use to get a $10 bonus just for signing up. So you're gonna to wanna to follow along and go to this URL. It's bit.ly, B-I-T dot L-Y slash get ebates bonus. Just like this, B-I-T dot L-Y slash G-E-T, E-B-A-T-E-S, B-O-N-U-S, bit.ly slash get ebates bonus right here on the screen and also down there in the description. Click go. And as you can see here, you're gonna get $10 
when you sign up and just make your first purchase with Ebates. Now, it's now called Rakuten, right? But it's the same thing as Ebates. So it's Rakuten Ebates. Uh, so this is what you're gonna wanna sign up for. And so you're just gonna put in your email, password, click join now and that's gonna qualify you to get that $10 reward. So we're gonna do that real quick and show you inside of the app. So once you open up the app, you can see that it is Ebates Rakuten. So you can see right here, uh, they did rebrand a little bit. So they used to be called Ebates, now they're Rakuten. But you can go through and take a look and see here that you're able to shop at a variety of different stores and earn cash back, like Macy's, Ralph Lauren, Under Armour, Newegg, um, Amazon, Walmart. Now Amazon isn't always the case, so be careful because sometimes there's different categories, but Walmart, Dick's Sporting Goods, right, Groupon, Old Navy, you know, eBay, Gap, Best Buy, a wide variety of places you're shopping online. Kohl's, look at this, Kohl's, 12% cash back. Imagine if you were just shopping on, on Kohl's already, if you're not using this app, you're missing out on 12% cash back that you can use from Rakuten eBay. So you can see here, you can actually get that 12% cash back. Now, if you scroll through, you'll also notice that it tells you about coupons, like take $10 off, 15% off, $10 off, you know, certain orders. You can see here, it'll give you the coupon codes as well. So you can actually stack coupons and cash back. And it's as simple as this to earn cash back. Just click shop now. As you can see, 12% activated. And then you can see that it pops up right here. And as you can see, this is Kohl's. And you, you can see at the top, 12% cash back activated. You can also click on seven deals. You can copy coupon codes that are available too. So you can stack coupon codes and cash back that you get from this application. Now, the extra benefit, another thing that you can stack on top of this, and there's a wide variety of different stores. Uh, Macy's is one of my favorites to use this at. As you can see, 6% cash back, and it shows you coupons as well. Once you download this app by going to bit.ly slash get Ebates bonus, it's right here on the screen and in the description, you'll get a $10 bonus once you spend $25 at any of these stores within 90 days. So you have some time to go in and spend money at any of these stores, just $25, you'll get the cash back, and because you use the link, bit.ly slash get Ebates bonus, you will also get a $10 gift card. So I highly recommend taking a look here. You can see there's a wide variety of different stores that you can shop at. I mean, look at this, right? If you're gonna shop at Kohl's already, uh, you can see Hotels.com, Priceline, uh, GameStop. There's a wide variety of different places you can shop online at and earn cash back. So I highly recommend going to bit.ly slash get Ebates bonus to get your $10 bonus and earn cash back whenever you shop. A new feature in iOS 14 is you can actually hide pages. So let's say you have a variety of pages, but you don't necessarily want to have all of them there at once. All you have to do is press and hold, and then actually click on the pages icon down here, like so, click here, and you can see all of the different pages you have available to you. Now what you can decide to do is, let's say you want to hide a couple of these. You see here I have a bunch of you know, folders filled with a lot of different apps. These are usually apps that I review, but maybe don't use every day. So what I can do is I can deselect these, and so now these pages are hidden. I can, of course, always go back and re-enable them later, but now I actually don't have those pages of apps anymore. It skips past those, and that way I can more easily and quickly get to the app library. If I ever wanna add those again, all I have to do is, again, price and hold, go to the pages, and just re-enable the pages down here, and then they'll appear again for me when I click Done, and you can see there I have my pages available to me again. That's a nice hidden feature that you can enable right here in iOS 14. Thanks for watching the video. Hopefully you found this valuable. Be sure to give it a like. Subscribe for more great content that we have on iOS 14 and the upcoming Apple and iPhone products. And be sure to share this video with your friends so that they can see how to access all of these tips, tricks, and hidden features themselves as well. Now, all the links to the apps we talked about earlier are down in the description below. Remember, those are great apps where you can earn rewards, cash back, and gift cards. So be sure to check out those links down in the description below. Not only does that support the show, but you can also earn great rewards and cash back yourself as well. Now, don't forget to sign up for AppFind VIP for free by going to appfindvip.com. That way you can have the best mobile apps or mobile games delivered directly to your email inbox. 
and you can enter to win incredible gift card giveaways. We're giving away iTunes and Google Play gift cards periodically on there as well. So appfindvip.com. And again, all the apps we talked about in the video, the links are down there in the description. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to let us know what you wanna see us feature next on this channel in the comments below. Subscribe for more great content, and I'll see you on the next video.